tonight, the St. Louis County Library offering a new opportunity for people hoping to get their lives back on track. A new program turning former convicts into entrepreneurs. First Lord for Shoshana Stahl spoke to one man putting what he learned into action. Shoshana. Yeah, Corey, Sam, the man I spoke to spent several months in the St. Louis City Justice Center last year. After being released, he wanted to do more with his life. He already had 10 years of experience in the automotive industry, so he started a small business. I just decided that's something that I needed for, to pursue to better my uh, better myself as an entrepreneur. Matthew Palmer is looking to gain financial freedom through his new business, Squeak Key Clean, which offers mobile car detailing. Like Netflix offers the monthly services and stuff. I can pull up to anybody's job, household, and things like that, uh, do an oil change in the driveway, take care of the vehicle inside and out. Palmer learned about running a business through the St. Louis County Library Small Business Launchpad Program, an initiative for those who were incarcerated. Right now, Palmer is on probation for unlawful use of a weapon in St. Louis City. I got out and I just uh, had the motivation to, hey, I need to apply myself uh, more in life. I, I need to be my own boss. The program started in August. St. Louis Library employee Megan Pfeiffer Davis runs the program. She says those who have been behind bars can struggle to find jobs after they're released. What companies are going to hire somebody with a felony background? Uh, and it's extremely sad and desolate uh, what companies are openly hiring people uh, and will not discriminate against that. The group meets twice a month for six months and has 11 participants. Pfeiffer Davis says it not only helps them, but the community too. The whole point of the whole justice system is uh, to rehabilitate people to come back into society to make a positive change. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. And so by making that small business, they're not only making wealth and support for themselves or giving it back into the economy um, to hopefully support uh, the St. Louis ecosystem. The program's first round ends next week. The library is planning to do it again starting in July for eight weeks in a row. Applications for that will come out in May, and Pfeiffer Davis says they're looking to fill about 12 slots this time. Sam, Corey.